is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new aew action figure news for you guys if you guys missed our video from yesterday where we actually took a look at the upgraded series one or series one b of the unrivaled collection series number one aew figures you know the first series we got were super pale they had a bunch of issues with the skin tone well today or yesterday i'm sorry we actually did a video uncovering and showing you guys the updated skin tones for those figures if you guys want to go grab those they are on ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent if you want to go pick those up but today guys we actually had some other things leaked out from aew and rival collection and we're going to be diving into that and it is going to be aew and rival collection series number six so not not number five with luchasaurus and john moxley and adam hangman page this is going to be series six with the lucha brothers and jake hagar and all of those guys so let's go ahead and dive into it guys before we get started i do want to give a huge shout out to my man g natty huge uh, thank you to him for this information uh, he made a video about this so I figured I would put it up to you guys and let you guys know about it so a huge shout out to my boy over there very appreciative of him letting me debut in his GCW Royal Rumble and having me over there really really appreciate that more info to come on that definitely go check that out if you missed it but a huge shout out to G Natty man let's go ahead and dive into this news and take care of it guys so starting out first let's go ahead and look at this now this is a figure that we actually had leaked to us the other day right we actually showcased it in a video that is going to be AEW series number six Ray Phoenix and this one is the one that we actually got the mock picture of you guys remember that mock image that we took a look at this is actually the loose image and just like we thought remember we saw the mock image and we were like what the hell he's missing tattoos he has like two of the same interchangeable hands what's going on with this it does look like those issues are fixed here as you guys can see it's the same exact Ray Phoenix it's got the same exact head sculpt you got the same tights but the torso tattoos are actually there like we thought they would be I didn't think they'd release a figure without you know Phoenix's tattoos I thought that would be absolutely ridiculous here they are black and gold tights look really good I'm really happy we're getting the black and gold gear we already kind of knew this simply because we got the mock image I mean it was kind of in our heads anyway but knowing for a fact that it's going to be that we got the, the you know the tattoos black and gold looks really good his series two figure is actually really fun as well so I know this one will be just as good and it should be really great another thing is that his mouth is closed this time so that is a good sign as well but there's Ray Phoenix let me know what you guys think do you like series two or series six better let me know down below but that's not all guys we also have a pentagon from series six now here is pentagon and i think he looks pretty damn good as well i actually think i don't know if i like the black and gold better than the black and white i'm a kind of a sucker for like black and white and like the way they contrast each other on a gear but the black and gold is really sick i really like it i like the waist wrap this is a very big deal as well because this pentagon head sculpt does not have his mouth open with his tongue sticking out and i think again I think in his Series 2 figure, he was supposed to come with a head sculpt like this, but they ended up scrapping it for whatever reason. Here it is again with the, you know, the mouth closed, so this is going to be excellent. Of course, it's not in the black and white gear. I guess if you really wanted to, you could just custom paint this head sculpt, put it on your Series 2 or something. But I like the way this figure looks. I really like the black and gold. The Pentagon figure was super duper, like, sturdy, and it felt really good. I think it came in at number 2 in my ranking of Series number 2. So I think this is going to be an excellent figure to pose around with, play around with, and everything like that so pentagon's looking really good let me know down below guys do you like series six better with the black and gold or do you like series two better with the black and white of course they do vary in different ways but i do like the way pentagon looks with the tattoos and the black and gold really sick stuff moving forward guys we have another series six figure it's going to be mjf now for me and g natty actually touched on it in his video i feel like this one is just uh, compared to the rest of the set i feel like this one is definitely the most boring you know i, I like mjf i think he's fantastic young talent i liked his series two figure and everything but i think compared to the rest of the set i think he's definitely probably the most you know basic he's just got black and gold trunks the head sculpt looks pretty solid it kind of looks just like the other one it looks like it has been tweaked just a little bit like the hair looks a little bit you know cut on the sides the hair color looks a little bit different it looks like he has a five o'clock shadow going on there at least in this photo here we don't have like the best images ever this is just kind of our first look if you will he's got the black boots black knee pads he does have the little scarf wrist tape on or the you know the scarf pattern wrist tape which I really like he's got the elbow pad on there so we'll just have to see you know head swaps and playing around with it see what we can get going with all of this and see what goes on but the uh it looks like this is black and gold gear 
And it's, you know, it's just a standard little MJF figure, which is, you know, we'll, we'll just say again how it goes. We don't know what accessory he's going to come with or anything like that. I would guess probably another microphone. We'll have to see. But MJF is right there, and it's very similar to his Series 2 figure. And we move right along, guys. We're getting into Chris Jericho. Now, Chris Jericho is one of those guys like Cody who has a ton of figures, right? I mean, you have the little bit of the bubbly exclusive. You have the AEW Series 1. You have the AEW variant. You have this figure, and then he is also the chase figure in this set, which we'll also get into. But taking a look at this one, I really like it. I like the scarf that he's got going on. I actually like this head sculpt. So we're actually going to be getting, you know, like if you look at all the different Chris Jericho head sculpts we got. We have like the pissed off, like gritty head sculpt. You have the yelling one that you see here. And then we also have the smiling one, like the little goofy, you know, little bit of the bubbly smiling one that we got with his ringside exclusive. So we're getting a lot of different Jericho looks here. I really like the skin tone and the way this looks. His Series 1 figure, you know, it did get the repaint. This looks better to me than the Series 1 repaint. I'm hoping that the Series 1 repaint, you know, the 1B or the version 2, Two, whatever you want to call it. I hope the torso and skin tone looks like this because this actually looks really damn good as far as skin tone is concerned. The black and yellow tights upgraded from his other look which isn't a whole ton different but if you guys missed out on that series one or the little bit of the bubbly this is a great Chris Jericho to get. Again we don't know exactly what accessories he's going to come with. I would guess probably uh, some version of a jacket or something like that. Probably another hat accessory. Maybe a microphone. We'll just have to see. But Chris Jericho's figures are actually some of the most solid in the set. Like out of all of AEW figures, I feel like his figures are just really, just just feel really good in the hands. So you guys can let me know what you think of the new Chris Jericho. We also have the Chase variant, or what we think is the Chase variant, which is going to be this version of Chris Jericho. And you guys can see there that it comes with his suit jacket. And this looks badass, man. Really loving the way this jacket looks. We've seen this on AEW Dynamite. Again, you get another angle of that head sculpt. Really like the way that looks. I feel like that head sculpt would even look good on a Mattel. Now, it may be a little bit oversized or something, but the likeness is really reminding me of that old Jax Chris Jericho that I've actually put on a Mattel body before. And I'll show you guys. I'll probably plug that figure in the video or something, but you guys can see plain black tights and stuff. It's like more of a promo gear for Jericho, but this jacket is sick. I would love to see what this jacket looks like on like other guys like Roman Reigns, Kenny Omega, or, or something somebody like that I think that would really look cool so we'll have to play around with that if you know we can get our hands on it I don't know if I even plugged this in a video yet but moving forward, guys, with Series 5 and above, the two different chase versions that we get in figures now for each set are going to be 3,000 and 5,000 instead of 500 and 1,000. So they're going to be way more obtainable. They should be hitting a lot more areas. Now, they're not going to just be guaranteed, but they should be way more obtainable than they have been in the past with the past, you know, first four series. So that will be interesting to see. Hopefully, we can actually track down a couple of these or whatever and get these jackets in hand because I'm really loving the way these jackets look. You guys know I'm on on a quest to get, you know, a full mock AEW collection and a full loose collection as well as extras and stuff like that. So hopefully this will make it easier to, you know, make that goal a reality and get the mock collection and the loose collection. But there's Chris Jericho right there. And then moving on to the last two that we have in the set, guys, we have the regular version of Jake Hager. And this one looks sick. Now I'm guessing that the black tights version is probably going to be the regular version. Uh, you guys can see the head sculpt there. I feel like maybe his beard and stuff looks a little bit too red like there's a little bit too much red in his beard and in his hair I may repaint it give it a little bit more blonde light brown look but I still like the way it looks like as far as the head sculpt is concerned I have a feeling this guy is going to be pretty damn big like you guys can see his thighs there really sick cloth accessory here with like the hoodie short sleeve I think that would look great on a bunch of different guys not just these AEW figures and if he's the regular version um, I don't know how well he'll sell at retail, so once he hits retail, it may be really easy to track down some of these, you know, black hooded shirts for your, you know, your whole entire wrestling figure collection, so that could be really cool as well, but I like the Jake Hager, you guys know he's the US champion and everything, so... That looks good to me. I like the short boost that he's got. Should be really cool. But we also have the Chase variant Jake Hager, which is going to be in these camo shorts with the Inner Circle t-shirt. Now, again, we don't know if the black hoodie version is the Chase or if the Inner Circle t-shirt is the Chase. I would guess that the camo is going to be the Chase and that the black tights is going to be the regular version, but we don't know just yet. I don't have a confirmation on that. But the Jake Hager, regardless of whichever one we get, I am going to be happy with it. So you get the cloth 
goods regardless. You get the Inner Circle t-shirt. You know, you may be able to pick up many of this camo shorts, Jack, Jake Hagar, and you could be able to put, you know, the, the Inner Circle t-shirts on all of your Inner Circle, you know, mates and your full team there. So that'll be also something that we like to see. So I don't know, guys. We'll just have to play it by ear and see what that's about. We do not have a look at Sheeta just yet. We don't have like a full image of Sheeta, but the rest of the wave looks pretty good, man. I know we have a lot of re-releases in this set, but Jake Hager looks good. I think that the Jericho looks pretty damn good. Uh, I mean, I, I like it. I overall like it, and if you guys want to skip out on the set or skip out on some of these figures in the set, then maybe you could, you know, wait around and wait for Series 7 to see if there's any first time in the lines. I know a lot of people don't like to collect repeats. You guys know that's not the case with me. A guy who has like 100 John Cena elites, like 82 Finn Balor's, 76 Seth Rollins, you know, the repeats don't really bother me. But uh, I know a lot of people don't like to collect repeats, so that may be not, you know, something that you want to do. But at the end of the day, really enjoying what we got out of AEW Series number 6. You guys can let me know what you think about the set. Are you excited for it? Do you think it sucks? You know, what is your thoughts on everything going on with that? But before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout-out. And for a random shout out today, this shout out is going to go to Timothy Brothers. Well, I don't think it's Timothy Brothers, it's Timothy Brothers. I absolutely love the videos, man. All the fig feds I watch now because of coming across MDT has revived my love of wrestling, which has done a lot to help me with my severe depression, as silly as that sounds. Thank you very much, MDT. So huge shout out to Timothy Brothers, bro. That means a ton to me for me to help you out in a time like that. I've been exactly where you are in that situation. You know, you just kind of feel... You know, like you don't really know what's going on. And for something to come in like that and be a light in a, in a dark time like that is absolutely amazing. So I really appreciate that, bro. I'm glad that you're a fan and you watch and, you know, you watch all the great figure feds. There's so many great, talented people out there that bring me joy as well. So I really appreciate the comment, bro. Thank you so much to Timothy. Hope you have a blessed day, brother. And I pray that you have a fantastic day. But a huge shout out to Timothy Brothers for that, man. But that pretty much does it for our AEW figure news, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the AEW figures down below. Again, a huge shout out to G90 for making this news possible possible would not be possible without the man over there but thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying your day enjoy your weekend maybe a ranking of elite series 6 through 10 tomorrow i was gonna have it up today but ran into a couple snagsies so we'll just see maybe i can get that up to you guys tomorrow but thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like dolph ziggler guy you cross the line